I got the GoPro camera out. Thought I'd try it out again. I don't know, it quit working on me for a while. What do you think? I can almost do drone shots. So, you gotta make the noise. We yeah. just edit that out later. So today we're going to uh, play around with the C32 a little more. I got the headlights put in and um, the bumper uh, braces on it. So gonna work on that a little bit. Connor, what are you doing today? What are you gonna do? All right, C32, got some headlights crammed into her. Ah, looks good. Got these, uh, these are eagle eyes, I guess. I don't know, they're from uh, Taiwan. Uh, you don't get anything like this made in America anymore, I don't think. But anyway, got them on eBay. Guy was real quick shipper. Had them like, even with uh, the way the mail's been and everything, I had these, um, gosh, probably within five or six days of ordering them. So I think that's pretty good. So I got, I got the headlights in and I got them pretty, Pretty squared up, looking pretty good. It took me a little while. I had to tinker on them to get them in there so that they look good and they, they fit with the fender I just installed. And we got the bumper brace on. I still got to put that extra radiator cooler thing, hang it up from the bumper. And then I'm going to put the bumper cover on. This is a bumper cover I had from another car. One that uh, kind of used the body for a C55 project. We'll, we'll probably get a look at that here in the next few weeks. And this is the one that I, I patched. I patched it up. I put this patch in there. Now, it's been a few weeks since I did that, and this is really pretty solid. It's pretty rugged, so pretty happy about that. I'm gonna grind this off smooth. I'll probably grind some of this stuff out. Try to tune this up a little bit. Put a nice smear of putty on it, because um, you get that. Uh, I've got some of that uh, putty made specially for this. It stays flexible and sticks right to it. I gotta put some things together. It's still a little floppy. I gotta. Tune it up a little bit, do something a little bit better about the way this hooks together. But this bumper, it's serviceable. It wasn't, you know, it's it, up top. It looks okay. The other side of it, it's just the bottom end. It's got a lot of rashes and stuff. Which you know what, you're gonna find that in most bumpers. Even if I bought one on uh, eBay or something, I'm sure I'd get there'd be damage. I'd have to fix either way. So. Probably what I'm going to do is hang this on the car, and that's what I'll probably do next. Hang it on the car, and then I'll uh, address all that patching on that. Okay, this C32 was hit up front, and wires got broke. I had to peel back this harness over here just to find the other end of this one. And that's this right here. Okay, that wire right there, that's the one that comes down on it and it was actually must be during the, the collision this got pulled right out it just tore it because I didn't make that I didn't cut that I don't know it just tore tore it apart must be stretched it and broke the wire so I gotta put that back together all right slip this butt connector On there, and I'll crimp it up. A little tighter. There we go. So that's crimped up. I'll let this warm up. I got the solder all the way through that connector. So that is going to be a permanent connection.
heat gun again and shrink up the old shrink wrap. There it goes. And this time I actually connected the correct wires together. Eh. Use up a lot of solder. I'm wasting it some of it, but it's a tough spot. All right, back to the shrink wrapper. So kind of hot from the soldering. There we go. There it goes, shrinking on there. Alright, looking pretty good. So that's the socket for the fog lamp. And I've got some permanent connections on it that I know aren't going to let me down. Sometime down the road, when you're going down the road, all of a sudden lights are flickering or something because corrosion got into a, a butt connector that's just simply crimped on. I got a couple more to go. Fix the connections of these wires. So here's the one. Got it taped up nice. Got it had it got it all connected and loomed up. Got the whole thing nice and loomed. Tape retaped all that. Retaped the whole fog light pigtail. So I'm gonna put the bumper on now. Okay, so I got the front bumper put on, and that leaves me a dilemma. Do I sell this car just the way it is, or do I perfect it and get rid of every little nick and scratch? Because there's nothing here that really is, is the end of the world as far as somebody maybe just wants a driver, and maybe something that they want to do a paint job on or take care of some of this little stuff. But I don't know. I think what I'll do is try to sell it first. If there's no interest in it being nicked and scratched, I'll, I'll make it perfect. But I, I just got too many projects. I'm running out of time. And I think I can offer somebody the, the option to just buy it as is. I'm still not in bad shape. Just not perfect. A little dent there too, something happened there. When that door's got a dent in it, I could leave that too and not have to worry about it. All in all, it'll be a nice drivable, serviceable car and it's a C32, so it'll be exciting and it might be something somebody want to mon monkey with. Of course, it might be something that somebody wants to do something else with, so I, I don't know. I'm gonna spend all this, oh look, I got a little scratch here, I could fix that. A little bit of peel there. That's kind of neat. AMG there. It's got the cool wheel spacers too. Let's those front wheels stick out a little bit so it looks, gives it a better stance. Thanks for watching.